Good afternoon and welcome. Welcome to this video lesson. It's nice to see you today. All right. Well, today's lesson is about using question words. Words like who, what, where, why, etc. And if you want to be conversational in Gaelic, it is crucial to be able to understand and use question words. Otherwise, your conversations will be very short and you won't understand what other people are asking you. <laughs> so today we're going to take a look at how question words work so that you can make your own questions about anything at all. Yeah, and become a stronger conversational speaker. Leva. All right. So let's get started. First of all, let's take a look at our question words. Let's sort out what they mean. All right, so let's start with J. J means what? What? <laughs> and it's a J sound. J. 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 Mm -hmm. Kunya. Kunya means when? Kunya. 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 Ko means who? Ko. Ko. Carson. Carson means why? Why? Carson. Carson. Kimmer, which I'm sure you're familiar with if you've been studying Gaelic in any way. <laughs> Kimmer, right? Kimmer how? Kimmer means how. How. Kimmer. Kimmer. And then kachja. Kachja. Where? Kachja. Nice. So these are the question words that we're going to be focus on, focusing on today. There are really foundational ones. We really need to be able to use these just right. Yeah. So kachja, kimmer, karson, ko, kunya, agus j. Yeah. Leva. And with kachja, there's a bit of an h sound in there. Kachja. Kachja. It's a hidden h. There we go. Kachja. Nice. All right. <clears throat> so now we have four phrases up here and let's make some questions that can be answered by them or that relate to them very closely to see how to make question, how to make questions with question words. So we're going to see the pattern right before our eyes. All right. Hamiski. Right. Hamiski. I'm tired. Hamiski. Well, let's ask some questions related to that. J. Uh, J doesn't really fit with this one. What? <laughs> what are you? No, it doesn't work. Kunya. No, there's nothing about time here. Hamiski. Uh, although you could ask, like, when did you start feeling tired? But that's, that's keeping the conversation going. <laughs> We're focusing just on this one. Ko. Who? There we go. Ko. So, who is tired? Ko, ha, ski. Ko, ha, ski. Done. <laughs> it's a short question, but it's absolutely a, a valid option. It's not like, oh, you know, the cute learner making a little, a little question. No, this is, I mean, it's, I w advanced isn't the right word, but everyone would use ko, ha, ski. Native speakers, fluent speakers, learners. So don't, uh, don't make the mistake of thinking that because a question is short, it's not as good. Okay. Ko ha ski. Who? Who is tired? Done. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. Ko ha ski. All right. Let's see. Um, why? If we want to keep, you know, find out more information, keep the conversation flowing, we could always ask why. Yeah, so let's do that. Why are you tired? Carson. Carson. 
あはうすき。カーソンアハウスキーカーソンアハウスキー Why are Why are you tired? Pretty straightforward <clears throat> Kimmer We could ask Kimmer a how Right? How are you? How are you doing? Kimmer a how How are you? Hamiski. <laughs> Hamiski. Mm -hmm. Kachcha. We're not really talking about a place in this sentence, so that's not the most relevant. Yeah. <laughs> okay, nice. So we've got three questions about Hamiski. Ku haski. Ku haski. Karson. Karson. Ahauski. And then Kimmer. Kimarahau. Yeah. So we're already seeing our pattern of how to use question words just right. First, we start with our question word, and this is true for everything, every question that uses question words. First, you start with ko, and then we're putting in ha. Why ha? Well, it mirrors our sentence here. We're both talking about right now. I'm tired, like right now, right here, right now. Who is tired right here, right now? Yeah.、Mm -hmm. So our questions about something usually will mirror this. I mean, if you're asking for, for more information about something, it might be a different time, but. Kohaski, hamiski. The time is all right now. So we use ha. All right. And then the rest of it. <laughs> so start with our question word, ha, or we're going to see some other、um, options we can use, and then the rest of it. <clears throat> so let's look at carson. Carson, yep, start with our question word. There's our ha. And carson, and another question up here, like to have the little a there. Carson, a ha, uski. And I believe at one point in Gallic language history, that they all had the little a, all of the questions did. But in Gallic, vowels, they fight, but also they're often pushed together. Yeah, to help the sentences flow and to make less work for the speaker. Yeah, Gallic phrases used to be a lot longer than you think, and they've just kind of been smushed over the years. <clears throat> so, Carson a ha uski, this is. We're seeing this historical A there. But we wouldn't do that with J or Ko. Look right here. We're not saying Ko a ha ski. Ko ha ski. I believe the A just got smushed into the O.、Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Carson a ha u ski. Same pattern. Start with our question word. Carson is one of the two question words that uses a, and then ha, and then the rest. Okay. Nice. And notice we're using parts of our sentence. We don't have to create things completely you know, from nothing. We can recycle like ski and then ha.、Mm. Nice. All right. Kimmer a hau. Here's our pattern in action. Kimmer, question word first. Kimmer is our second question word that likes to have the a, a.、Uh. Well, and then here's our ha. <laughs> Kimmer a ha u. Nice. So you already know one question word pattern, and that's going to help you a lot, actually. Kimmer a ha u. Think about Kimmer a ha u. You know that structure. You're used to saying it, you're used to understanding it quickly, maybe writing it too. So you already know some of this. Yeah, we're just opening it up more to more question words. Okay, nice. So, this seems to be all the questions we can ask about hamiski. Let's move on to the next one. Va e ounce of atin. Va e ounce of atin. It was in the morning. Okay. So, what can we ask about this? Or what questions could we ask that will be answered by this? <laughs> Va e ounce of atin.、Um, 
Well, we could say, J, what was in the morning? Yeah, J, J, va, ounce, vatin. J, va, ounce, vatin. J, va, ounce, vatin. What was in the morning? Vae ounce vatin. It was in the morning. <laughs> Maybe a meeting or an exercise class or a walk or who knows what. <laughs> an eclipse, the northern lights maybe early in the morning. J va ounce vatin. So we see our pattern here. J, aha. We're going to come back to this in a moment. But it's still the same. We're just using va. All right. Va e ounce vatin. What else? Could we ask? Kunya. Yeah, there's a there's time in this sentence, right? In the morning. So we could ask Kunya. Short and sweet. Kunya va e. When was it? Again, just because this question is short doesn't make it not as good as other questions. Mm -mm. Kunya va e. Nice. <laughs> All right. Um, ko. Well, we're not really talking about a person here. We're talking about a thing, right? It. It was in the morning. So ko doesn't really fit. Carson. That would be asking for more like, why was it in the morning? <laughs> no one was ready for the meeting or whatever. Kimmer. How is it? Mm, not really. Vai ounce. Eh, kachja. Not really. Yeah. That th this, these two questions feel the most appropriate in this moment. Yeah, vae ounce vatin. J va ounce vatin. Vae ounce vatin. Kunya vae. Vae ounce vatin. It was in the morning. <laughs> and we have our same pattern, starting with our question word. And now we have va instead of ha. It's actually the same word. We're still saying is or are or was or am. Yeah, it's all the same word. It just has different forms for different times. So, ha for right now, va for the past. J va ounce vatin. And we're mirroring our sentence because our sentence has va in it. Va e ounce vatin. So these need to be va. Yeah, at least in these examples here. Yeah. Nice. Okay, let's move on. Ha iet the mui. They are outside. They're outside. <laughs> uh, okay, what can we ask about ha iatamui? Well, G, what is outside? G, ha, amui. Yeah, nice. What is outside? Ha <laughs> iatamui. Or if you want to make it uh, put emphasis on they, you know, ha'iets and amui. They're outside, yeah. Ha'ietamui. Mm -hmm. Ha'ietamui. Je ha'amui, ha'ietamui. They are outside. Cool. Kunya. Mm, there's nothing about time here. We don't need to worry about that. Ko? Yeah. If iet refers to people, we could ask a question with ko. Ko ha'amui. Ko ha mui. Who is outside? Ha iet mui. They're outside. Cool. What else can we ask? Carson? <clears throat> mm, Why are they outside? Yeah. Yeah. We could, I suppose. Yeah. Why not? Carson uh, ha iet. Amui. Carson aha iatamui. And this is, you know, asking for more information. We're going to find out more about why they're outside when we ask that. Mm hmm. Carson. Kimmer, how are they? Mm, I guess, you know, how are they, how are they doing today? Well, hayatamui. They're outside. Hayatamui. Agus hayat palichja. They're happy and they're outside. You could. Um, but let's just. Let's just focus on K 
Kachche instead, actually. We, we haven't done Kachche yet. All right, so when we're using Kachche, Kachche um, follows a slightly different pattern. All of these, J, Kunya, Ko, Karson, and Kimmer, they follow the exact same pattern. Kachche does for part of it. So, where are they? This is how it looks. Why am I putting an H? <laughs> we don't need to limit that. Kachja vil yet. Ooh, okay. Well, we started with a question word, right? Kachja, yeah, kachja, nice. But then instead of ha, like in these ones, right, remember? These have all started with a question word. And these use ha, ko ha amui. Our sentence has ha, a lot of ha 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 here. Ko ha amui, karson aha iet amui. J, oh, almost forgot about this guy. <laughs> J ha amui, what is outside? They are outside. But kachja doesn't. Kachja vel iet. Where are they? Hmm. So kachja uses the questions, let's see, um, actually, not connect it to this. Avel. That's asking is. Is. Avel. I guess unroll. Was. And um, B. Uh, let's put this here. That would be. Yeah. So Kachtu uses these. So these are very useful questions as well. Heck, maybe we'll do a video about how to use these. <laughs> Why not? Questions are important in Gaelic. Being able to ask a question and understand questions. Really critical if you're going to speak to anyone. Um, so Kachtu has its own way of doing things. It uses Kachtu vel. Where is? Kachchen ro. Where was? Kachchen bi. Where will be this? <laughs> yeah. So that's why we use vel here. That's the only exception here. Otherwise, we're going to follow the exact same pattern. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Vel. Maybe we'll put a different color around it or something. Hmm. Or maybe dashes. Trying to make it clear. Yeah. Okay, why not? Cool. So kachje is a little different. Kachje, you're going to use these. Kachje vel, kachje ro, kachje bi. And that's pretty straightforward in itself. You just need to remember that kachje is different. Okay. Nice. So let's see. Let's come over to our fourth uh, example here. Bi mi goper. I will be working. So let's use this one as a future, uh, something happening in the future. I will be working. Ooh, let's put time on it. I'll be working Monday, let's say. Be me a goper. Jaluan. I wasn't planning on doing that, but that's a, that's a happy accident. That's great. Or it's not even an accident. <laughs> Just a happy thing that happens. Be me a goper jaluin. I will be working on Monday. That opens up some more questions for us. Okay. Be me a goper jaluin. Let's maybe separate these so there's some space. Easier to see. Always good to be easy to see here. Yeah. Leva. Okay. Be me a goper jaluin. Let's make up some questions related to this. J. I mean, you could. What will you be doing on Monday? Sure. Let's put that in. Yeah. Mm hmm. Gee, 
J vis tu agianu jaluin. What will you be doing on Monday? Be me a gopa jaluin. I'll be working on Monday. Okay. Kunya. Ooh, we could ask, when will you be working? How do we start? We've seen this pattern a bunch so far. Question word, yeah. Kunya. And we're working with the future, so it's this. Kunya this too. Mm -hmm. Okay. When will you be? And then what comes next? When will you be working? Kunya this too. Agopar. Nice. Very nice. When will you be working? Kunya vis tu agopar. Be me agopar jaluin. Done. Cool. Yeah? Who will be working? Cool. Vis. Egoper Jaluan. Who will be working on Monday? Be me Egoper Jaluan. And in that situation, you probably want to emphasize me. I'll be working. I'll be working. Be Misha Egoper Jaluan. Okay. Uh, let's see. Cool. Carson. <laughs> Why aren't you free on Monday? Well, be me a gopa Okay. Kimmer. Meh. How? I mean, we could, but it doesn't fit so easily. Kachja. Yeah. Where will you be on Monday? Let's do that. So, our example for kachja is here. And remember, it's different. Kach. So we start with kachja. Kach. Um, be kach um, be u jaluin. Nice. Where will where will be you? Technically, <laughs> literally, Monday. Kach am biu jaluin. Kachja. Kach am biu jaluin. Be me a goper. I mean, you could say jaluin on the end too, but it's. We know you're talking about jaluin. <laughs> be me a goper. Oh, be me a goper. Done. Cool. So, let's take a look, <clears throat> closer look at our pattern here. Just to reinforce it in our minds. J vis tu agianu jaluin. What will you be doing on Monday? Be me egopa jaluin. I will be working on Monday. Kunya? Kunya? When? Kunya vis tu agopa? When will you be working? Be me egopa jaluin. Ko? This agoper jaluin, who will be working on Monday? Be Misha agoper jaluin. Where will you be Monday? Kach am biu jaluin. Be me agoper. Parentheses, jaluin. <laughs> be me agoper. Nice. Yeah. So here we have it. This is our pattern for using question words. All of them start with the question word, whether it's J or Kunya. Kachja, Carson, Ko, Kunya, Kimmer. We always start a question with the word itself, the question word, Ko. And then if you're using all of them but Kachja, we're going to use Ha if it's right now, Va if it's in the past, or Vis if it's in the future. Yeah. And if we're using Kachja, we always start with the question word. Where's our Kachja? Start with kachja, and then we're going to use vel, kachja vel, for right now, kachjan ro, for the past, kachjan be, where will be, for the future. And that's it. 
If you remember that kachcha is different, maybe there's an example with kachcha that you just really memorize, you get it deep in your mind, so you think of it, and then you're, oh, and then you have a sense of the structure of it. Sounds great to me. Yeah, have fun with these. You know, practice, practice making up some questions using these question words. Maybe focus on just one or two. You know, really get used to them. And don't stress yourself out too much. <laughs> Learning Gaelic should be enjoyable, I think, for the most part. <laughs> and if you're giving yourself a headache over trying to ask questions, maybe take a wee break. Leva. But this is how they work. It's very, it's very straightforward, pretty simple. You just follow the pattern. Question word, ha, va, or vis. Or if you're doing kachji, you're going to use vel, uh, anro, or ambi. And then the rest of your question. Yeah, gleva. So this is how you ask questions just right, using question words. It's really important if you want strong conversation skills. And you want to be able to navigate a conversation. And, you know, to, to be able to survive one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like I said before, have fun with these, you know, just play around with them, play around with them. And then rewatch this video as many times is as useful to you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in another video. Gleva. Gleva.